Hello fellow oculators, Dave Drawing here with yet another video for you. Uh, this is part of a series of videos that I'm doing uh, showing step by step how to attach, modify, and or install various uh, accessories and components on the Oculus Quest 2. Now these are all kind of offshoots of my uh, video called The Perfect Rig, which is on uh, various Facebook channels or Facebook groups and on uh, my YouTube channel. So wherever you're watching this, uh, hopefully it will be some help to you. Uh, this particular video is about uh, silicone earmuffs. Now, if you're following my other videos, you're already familiar with what they are, uh, but you may not be familiar with how they get installed. And an added twist to the muffs that I use and my wife uses are that you have to modify them to work with the halo strap, which of course is our favorite and the one that we highly recommend. So without further ado, I will get out these muffs. They look like this. Now, this is the inside. As you can see, there's no, uh, there, there aren't any wires or speakers. So that's why I call ear muffs and not headphones because they're, well, they're not headphones. They just uh, are pieces that go on the outside of your uh, Oculus. And what they do is they take this, the sound that comes out of the speakers, which are inside of right here on the back of this little horizontal rail. There's a little speaker in there and you just hear it when you have the headset on. But some people, like myself, have a little trouble hearing uh, the volume, even when it's turned all the way up. Uh, if you're not aware of the uh, volume control, and I try to cover stuff, there's a little volume control right here. If you already knew that, great. But if you didn't, and some people don't, this is a volume up, volume down button, and you just reach up under when you have it on and turn your volume up. But if you find that the volume's all the way up and you still have a little trouble, I had the most trouble like in... Uh, uh, social places like alt space or uh, rec room or VR chat, those kind of things where you're actually speaking with people. Uh, I had a little trouble hearing them. And one day I discovered that just like in real life, uh, if you cup your hand over your ear like that, you can hear better. And I mean, I think we've all been doing that all our lives at one point or another. It doesn't necessarily mean you're hard of hearing. It's just, you can amplify what someone's saying or what sound you're listening to by going like this. If you do it right now and say something, you'll notice it gets louder. So I did that and, and I found myself in alt space having conversations with people with you know one hand on a controller and the other hand on my ear so I could hear them. And this was unacceptable. So I looked around and I found these guys. These are, like I said, the silicone muffs and they're, they're just soft. They're, they're not going to hurt anything. They don't weigh much. And <laughs> The only problem is these are for uh, Oculus One and for Rift, but they're not specifically for, you know what, that's wrong. And there's my mistake for this video, or at least the, at least the first one. <sighs> it's not for Oculus Rift One or for or Oculus Quest One or the Rift. Whew. They're not for the Halo strap. Now, they are for the original strap, and uh, I believe the Elite strap, or Elite style strap, but they are not made, and the ad will say, not for Halo. But don't be discouraged by that, because if you've seen any of my other videos, you always see these guys in place, and like, they're drawing. How do you have those on your Halo strap? Because they're not made for Halo. They're not, but they can be easily modified, and that's what this is all about. It's not just putting them on, because putting them on is quite simple. Modifying them is also pretty simple. Now, this is my headset, and I stripped it down for this video, and I'm going to show you the reason I've been holding these like this, like I'm trying to hide something, is because I am, because I don't have another set of these to demonstrate what you have to do to make this work, but I will show you now, whoop, this is what you have to do. You got to make a hole. Now, <clears throat> another disclaimer here, this is a square hole, but you don't want a square hole. You want a round hole. But my wife wouldn't let me take her Oculus apart because she has these muffs, which... Where's your headset? Up here. Can you get it down for me, please? I just wanted, I just realized I could be showing you the finished product. The people are saying, what the heck are those things he's playing with there? Alrighty. This is my wife's rig, and it has other stuff on it that uh, is from a different video. But 
These are the silicone muffs, okay? They go on the arms, the original, the arms of the uh, headset itself. They kind of cover the whole thing. Uh, but the, the problem with the Halo strap is they have this pivot point that the original strap and the Elite style strap don't have. So they're meant to go over the strap itself, the one, you know, because on those, much like a scuba mask, the strap goes straight back around the back of your head. This is attached here at this pivot point because the Halo has a different mounting system. This, this strap here and the strap at the back is what actually goes on your head, and the uh, headset is supported by its own rails that then slide on uh, on this pivot point here. So that's what they look like in place. And uh, hers, what I, what I want to show you is where it goes through this, the, you have to put this part of the halo through this uh, silicone piece. And as you can see, there's no square hole that you can see. Whereas on mine, you can see the corners of the square hole because when I did it the first time, I thought I needed a square hole and I was mistaken, but I had already cut them. So when I did hers, I made a round hole. So when you do this, disregard the square hole and the ground. Okay. Set that down. Now, what you can use for a template is a nickel. That was proven tonight because uh, I was showing someone how to do it and we used a nickel and just draw around it and then you've got a, you know, a place to cut. You can use an X-Acto knife, a razor knife. Or a pair of scissors. Uh, anyway, all you got to do is cut this out so that it's round. Like I said, you don't want to see the little corners because this thing is round and this is not round. So whatever part of the square shows, that's unfortunate. It doesn't affect the mm, the use of, of it or anything or the function or performance of anything. But it's just an aesthetic thing. So when I mean, you make this hole, you make it round. Okay. Now, but before you do that, step one after you get your muffs ready and you get whatever you're going to cut them with, you get you a pen or whatever to mark with, you want to fit this thing first. Now, if you're having any trouble with that, watch my other video about fitting the halo strap. Okay. Get it fitted to your head just right, including the, you know, the tilt of this and how, how much you want to slide these out. Cause as you can see that slides in and out on these rails, it takes a little effort because you don't want it to slide by itself. But you slide that in and out, you know, while you have it on, get it all fitted, and then don't move it. Take the thing off, <clears throat> and then you take your muffs that don't have this hole in them yet, <laughs> and you put it alongside of that. As you can see, this, the end here, it's hollow in the back, wants to fit over the end of that, okay? That little arm right there, it wants to fit over that. So you put it over that. And while you won't have this handy hole, you see how nicely it lined up? You know, just put it so it's lined up either above it or below it, you know, like this. And then just make yourself a little uh, dot or a little line or whatever as a reference. And then once you get your line on here for reference, then lay it down. And I would poke a little hole through it and turn it over because it's actually better to cut it from the other side. So poke a little hole in the middle with a toothpick or the point of the knife or whatever. <clears throat> and then you have your hole on the other side. Put your nickel down and draw around the nickel. Okay, because that's the size hole you want. And you might think, well, that's not a very big hole, but you don't want it to be loose. You want it to be snug when it goes through there. Because not only does it let you mount this to the halo, it actually uh, kind of fortifies this pivot. This pivot moves pretty easily, and that's not a bad thing. But once you're using this thing, you can actually tilt it up a little, and these silicone muffs will actually help hold that in place so it'll tilt and stay tilted as opposed to uh, coming back down on its own like that. So just a little little bonus thing that, that having these on there helps with. So once you get the hole cut out, the round hole, nickel-sized, right? once you get that done, then you want, you want this off of the the headset like this you just pull them off the same way it goes on and you don't you don't necessarily have to disconnect the the strap that's just a an unnecessary step <clears throat> so what you got is this with this little hanging down right now this is the part that goes on the rail the slider or whatever you want to call it and this you make sure you know you got the one on the right side and what you want to do is put this 
so that that part is uh, is sticking through. So you've got to put this square part, which is why I had square holes in the first place, because I thought I'm putting a square thing through a square hole. But once it's done, what's showing is this mostly round thing. So, you know, it was logical, but I failed. So you take this, and it's very stretchy. Like I said, you, you want it to stretch. You take and start putting this through this hole. You can put, you know, any corner of it through first. Get one corner, two corner, three, and four until there you go. That's it. And it's on there. Simple, right? And then you turn it around and you put the other one. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty complicated stuff. It's right up there with rocket science. But like with anything, if you don't know how to do it, you know, you don't know. And I didn't know how to do it until I figured it out. But now you don't have to figure it out because we just got her done. So I'm sorry I said that. I really am. And uh, you get that one put around. Make sure the little lip on the other side is in the right place. And there you go. So that's both sides. And as you can see, unfortunately, when you look at mine, you can see the the corners of my square holes, which is unacceptable. But, you know, I wasn't going to buy another set of these just so I didn't have those little corners showing because uh, nobody really sees it anyway. <clears throat> but for aesthetics purposes, make sure you do the round hole. Yeah, I'm done talking about the round hole now. Okay. Now, once you get that done, then all you got to do is line up your little, uh, you just pull a little flappy thing out of the way and it just slides right back in again the same way it was before. Let your little flappy thing go, and then come over to the other side, put the other one in, slide her up, and then you just slide it up until the front part bloop, goes over that, and you do the same on this side, here, just like that, and that pops over that, and luggy, it's beautiful. You put this on this side, and... You got your muffs, okay? And then, like I said before, now that these are on there nice and snug, when you tilt this up, it stays tilted up more than without it. So it actually, you know, gives you the benefit of being able to tilt that up a little bit to look at your phone, take a bite of a sandwich, whatever you're going to do. There you go. I think that's what I said in the other video. <laughs> and I'm not working for the script either. All right. And then, this is what you got. You got your muffs. And then when you put that on, it's better than doing this. And it it uh, actually will at least double the volume of what you hear through the built-in speakers. Um, <clears throat> because when I first tried this, uh, I was using the voice activation where you, uh, you know, you double tap the Oculus button and it goes beep and you say power off. And it says, are you sure you want to power? And it was so loud with these things on, I actually had to turn my volume down. So... If that's any indication for you, uh, these things will make it loud enough where a semi-deaf person like me had to turn the volume down because it got too darn loud. So uh, they're definitely worth it. Some people swear by headphones and don't want anything else, and that's fine. You can use these, you know, if you wanted to use headphones, you could put your, you know, if they're buds or whatever, you could put them on and without having to remove these and, you know, they wouldn't do anything, but you don't have to go through the trouble of, of disassembling everything. If you you know you've got a certain game where you want to use your your buds or your earphones or whatever, that's fine. Now I'm not sure how well it would work with like full coverage muffs for headphones, but I suppose you could probably fold them out of the way and put your muffs on. But you know I don't use them, so I'm good with these. Uh, everything I've done so far sound wise, these do the trick. They're also uh, from what I can tell, they they make double the sound that you hear, but they kind of cut the sound other people can hear probably in half. An example that I've got to go by is my, my wife was playing Moss, you know, with the little mouse running around. And when she would play, you know, from a certain distance, I could hear the mouse like squeaking and making little noises and stuff. And after we put these muffs on, from the same distance, I couldn't hear the mouse anymore. So... It does cut down on, and because that is a concern for some people who are trying not to, not to disturb someone else with their with their uh, their gaming. So there's some just some uh, pluses about the uh, silicone muffs, and that's about it. 
And if you have any questions or anything, feel free to ask in the comments or contact me any way you can figure out how. And I will have links for these in the comments, uh, in the description, or somewhere. And if you can't find them, contact me and I will make sure you get the link. So if you're watching this on YouTube, I would appreciate a uh, subscribe and a like, if you would, because I need all the help I can get. And that uh, will end this video. And so until next time, this is Dave Drawing, leaving you with a poke.